In this episode of the GTA 5 mods, we're actually not going to be doing this live, but we are going to be showcasing two new mods for GTA 5 PC from members of the community. Now, the first one that, as you can see on the screen now, is actually the Snowmobile by Kafaros on the GTA 5 mod site. And next, we're actually going to be showing off the Sparrow from GTA San Andreas by Popos1. So, if you guys would like to download these, there'll of course be a link to it in the description down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy it. But let's get into the first mod. So like I said, the first thing that we have here is actually a snowmobile made by Kafaros. Now this thing is really cool. Now the actual model isn't perfect. It's not completely detailed, especially around the front. It seems like there's a bit of a lack of polygons. It kind of all just converges in one central kind of point. But nonetheless, it was still really fun to drive. Now this thing will actually replace the Blazer by default, which is of course the quad bike in GTA 5. Now I decided to come to North Yankton to use this because of all of the places, this is the only place that really has snow. So I decided this was the best place to try it out and see quite how it ran so i tried it over kind of the icy lakes here i tried or the icy river i tried it on the snow tried it on the roads and overall it doesn't really have any different handling properties to the actual blazer but when you sit on it it works perfectly well like the actual handlebars line up perfectly with the actual model you can sit down on it fine when you go into first person there is the slight issue where the dials don't really work quite so well or at least they're not properly mapped out i do believe they still move but they're not properly detailed and completely textured. So it is a rather basic model, but I just thought it was really cool looking nonetheless, despite being something fairly simple. I really enjoyed playing around with this mod, and I think you guys will too. So, like I said, there's of course going to be a download link to that in the description. It's by Kafaros on the GTA 5 mod site. I definitely recommend trying this out in places like North Yankton if you can spawn it in with a trainer. This is just the best place to try it out, really. But, of course, it does replace the quads. If you go around maybe Sandy Shores trying out this vehicle, you'll see other snowmobiles actually being driven by NPCs around the streets. So it's just a funny little thing that you guys may want to check out. Now for our second mod of the day, we've actually got something a bit different, and this thing is something that's actually been in a past GTA game, and it's of course the Sparrow that actually comes from GTA San Andreas. Now, any of you guys that have maybe been playing the older GTAs recently, there was a Steam sale recently, this may be definitely something that you guys would want to check out in GTA 5, as of course it is kind of a nostalgic thing to go back to some of the old vehicles. It's actually made by Popos1 on the GTA 5 mod site, and it actually replaces the Frogger in-game. So you don't have to do anything too difficult with this, you just replace the files, you launch the game, and you go. Now it has a completely working HUD at the front, you can see out all of the windows here. It's a bit of a strange model in so much as it doesn't really resemble any others from GTA 5, being that it's kind of an open cockpit. It's much more lower resolution, being of course that this game at first was released in 2004. So it's about an 11 year old model, so you can't really expect quite the same things as we have nowadays. But I definitely recommend you guys go check this out as well. I really enjoyed flying this, even though I've never actually played through all of San Andreas. Played through a bit of it and I have actually checked out the Sparrow, and I just really like having it in this it's a very long chopper it's got a very long tail to it and it just obviously doesn't really resemble any others in the game it's just a very unique being this from such an old game but i really enjoyed flying this round it's very low down to the ground it's very flat so i definitely would recommend that you guys go check this out if you guys would like to download it there'll of course be links to that in the description like i said and that's pretty much it. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it in any way, shape, or form, as it really does help me out, as always. Subscribe for more videos just like this coming very soon. We're very, very close to 5,000 subscribers, guys. Less than 80 subscribers away. And I have something really special planned for when we hit that. And finally, follow me on Twitter. There'll be a link in the description down below. We post more daily GTA 5 real life and graphic design content. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.